Hey guys, welcome back to another Black Lion video, and we are continuing on with the Babylon B vids. Um, these these vids are funny. <laughs> these vids are funny. So um, let's dive on into another one. All right, this one's called "An Obese Man Insists That He's Pregnant." So um, let's let's just see. That title is wild. Uh, let's dive on in. Hello there, Michael. How are you doing this afternoon? Oh, hey, Doc. I'm, I'm, do I'm doing great. No monkey pox here. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. But there are some issues I'm concerned about that we need to discuss. All right, Doctor. Oh, sure. Doc, uh, what is it? Well, your blood pressure's up. You've put on about 30 pounds since your last visit. Dang. Mr. Simmons, you're obese. No, 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 no Doc. I, I think you got this all wrong. This is something you should be excited about. This is... This is... The most joyful thing that's happened in my life. Hey. Doctor, oh. I'm pregnant. Huh? I'm, I'm going to be a man, man oh. mom. <laughs> these, these guys are kind of funny. I love this acting in here. <laughs> All right. Dad, I'm going to be a dad. Your weight is becoming a serious problem. Oh, no, no, no. This... <laughs> this is in fact, this is a baby. Michael, as your primary care doctor, I can assure you that there's no possible way you can be pregnant. How do you know? Because you're not a woman and you don't have a uterus. Oh. But that lady on TV said they don't even have a definition for woman. <laughs> and, and, and that all men can get pregnant now. Are you trying to tell oh, me no. that you know more about science than a lady on TV? Yes. <laughs> oh, I felt a kick. This is foolish. I, I did. I did. I didn't hear you feel a kick. Oh, I'm having a baby, everybody. <laughs> Michael, you're having indigestion. No, 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 no. Because I I peed on the pregnancy test and it and it came back positive. See, it's right there. Ew. Michael, this is a COVID test. You don't pee on this. Can we talk about your health? <laughs> I'm perfectly healthy, doctor. Michael, you have man boobs. Yeah, for chest feeding. Uh, you need to lose weight and exercise. I'm eating for two now. I, I mean, I, oh I gotta eat gosh. a lot more food. I mean, I've been having these cravings, like like for chocolate ice cream and Spam and Velveeta. All these cravings during pregnancy are so weird. <laughs> Michael, Michael. No, no, no. You're not pregnant. I am. Give me an ultrasound. Okay, so if I give you an ultrasound that proves you're not pregnant, can we put all this behind us and talk about your weight? Yes. Oh, I just can't wait to see my little Natiri. <laughs> you named your imaginary. All right, I might be, isn't that some money? Doing an ultrasound? I know nothing is free in this life, even for you know some tests like that. I don't know. Hey, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but... Um, I feel like that, that ultrasound is going to be some to change, but anyway, I, I, what I know. All right, here we go. Three, fat baby after the blue lady on Avatar. Only if it's a girl. Now, if it's a boy, <laughs> I'm going to name him T'Challa. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Take your rope down. Uh, and remove that shirt also. Oh, no, no. I, 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 I never take off my shirt. Not even at the pool. <laughs> mm. uh, can we just... Uh, go? Okay, that used to be me. <laughs> that used to be me. Oh, man. I used to swim shirt on, just diving on in shirt. Just <laughs> soaking wet, coming out the pool, just, just drenched. Like, it's all normal. Ah, oh, man. Oh, oof. That used to be me. Um... I'll be like, take off your shirt. What are you doing? Um, but man, I just did not. I didn't feel comfortable showing my body in front of all these people who didn't deserve to see my body. I'm just like, no. I just, I really just, I don't know why. I, I just really didn't want people to see my body. Um, but now, you know, I, I swim, shirt free. So, hey man, uh, let's continue on now. Go on top? Whatever. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, 
I'm going to put it on top of this bed. Sure. Well, there you have it. You're not full of a baby. You're full of cake, hot dogs, and a jar of peanut butter that you managed to swallow whole. Jeez. Oh. So you know what you need to do from here, right, Michael? Yeah, yeah, I know. Pregnant hero gets big and doctor fight. <laughs> oh, no. This is hitting too close to uh, reality right here, man. I feel, I feel like this is this is what's going on out here. Uh, I, I feel like this this could really happen, if not already. Um, my word, my word. Um, yes, that is that is a really good video. I I enjoyed that. That was that was. Um, that was funny, man. That doctor was killing me. Um, but yes, um, it's sadly, sadly, that is a thing that's actually being discussed in this world today that men can be pregnant. That men can be pregnant. Um, that's the case. Oh my. Oh my. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, man, it's, it's so ridiculous that it's, um, I really, does it, it's like, does it really need, I, if I hear anyone saying this, I honestly, I, I just wouldn't, I would have a hard time considering anything else they say seriously, um, because it's such a wild statement, it's such a, so against common sense and reality that it's, um, just baffling it's baffling it but people who um sadly sadly people who take this gender fluid type of thing uh you know um as far as they go i mean it's to its logical conclusion you know what i'm saying they gotta they, if they believe it, they gotta take it to you know as far as they can take it to um and this is what it leads to right here that men can be pregnant and um that a man could be a woman or a woman could be a man um and yeah it's it's sad really uh it's sad because um that is not what um that's not what god has um intended for us to have because god intends for us to have life and have it abundantly and and he, and he speaks it through his word and you know in the bible through his revelation of what um he how he did he designed his design right there the what a man is and what a woman is and how it's a beautiful thing and how you sh how people should be uh, happy uh, in this truth and in this reality of who they are and um, what, what God um, what, what he intends for them and, um, and with their purpose and their value and personhood and dignity and all that they um, all that they have right there and um, but it's it's crazy and um, and almost, you know, I would say also in, insulting to the, the women I actually have in my life, you know, with the, my mothers and my aunts and my wife that, uh, just the man says, yeah, I can be that too. And it's like, well, what? So, um, of course, no, you know, um, you know, you read in Genesis, uh, right there, you know, the first, you know, three chapters, God, um, and, you know, of course, other you know, other verses in the Bible talks about um, uh, you know how God designed uh, uh, how He created man and how He created woman and how um, he, His design was and what His intention was for us. So yes, so um, it's it's hilarious, but it actually sparks some great conversations here, and I hope people. Um, we're watching this video or watching the Babylon video um, right there um, that they really think about this and hopefully it points to um, hopefully this points to God right here and how we how he's here and how we need him and how he's a reality um, and that he loves and he cares for us and he has an answer God has an answer so um, anyway so Hope y'all enjoyed that video. I know I certainly did. Um, 
this this is great um hopefully more on the way so anyway i hope y'all have a blessed day today and keep heading downward peace